Hello students and welcome to Unit 2. Uh, unit 2 begins with Module 6 and here we pick up where we left off. Uh, if you remember from uh, Chapter 3, our focus was on measures of central tendency and we learned about the mean, the median, and the mode primarily. Uh, chapter 4, which is the beginning of Unit 2, uh, extends that type of understanding of summarizing data. And now we're going to take a look at uh, data and how it uh, how it varies across a, a group of, of people or a group of po uh, a sample or a population. Um, so chapter four focuses on measures of variability and this allows us to understand uh, how spread out the scores are from from the lowest value to the highest value and, and uh, everything in between. Uh, so we'll be learning about standard deviation, uh, which is a very common term or a common concept used in statistics. Uh, we'll be talking about the range and also uh, the variance as the three primary uh, measures of variability. Uh, once we're kind of uh, done with measures of variability, we'll move on to introduce you to z-scores. And uh, yeah, chapter four and chapter five really go hand in hand. Uh, Z-scores are a way to uh, standardize a distribution, and, and uh, by standardize I mean uh, make a, a common uh, a template or a common example of a distribution, uh, given that when we look at data from the real world, it, you know, it, it varies in terms of what we're measuring and, and what the mean is of that sample and what the standard deviation is. So z-scores is a way for us to have a common uh, language, if you will, or a common uh, distribution to look at. So um, uh, chapter four will help us transition into the discussion of z-scores. And then we'll finish up chapter, I'm sorry, unit two uh, with uh, a look at probability and uh, probab probability within a sample. So uh, given, uh, given a set of data, what is the probability of having scores fall above a certain value or below a certain value? And of course, this will be within the context of uh, z-scores. So we'll be learning how to apply z-scores to uh, real data. Uh, we will be introducing you at that point to some of the tables in the back of the book. So if you kind of skimmed your book, if you go toward the uh, toward the back, uh, you'll notice a series of tables. And table one in particular, you might want to take a, a look at it. Uh, table one in the back um, is, is the first of several tables we'll be using this semester. And this is often known as the uh, standard normal distribution or standard z-score. So um, that's something we'll become familiar with. So um, anyway, follow along with your modules and uh, uh, reach out if you have any questions. And best of luck to you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.